main event. That's what happened. Seconds till we're back, everybody. Tons of energy coming back out of the yes, commercial yes, break. Yes, new day yes. in the ring, and they're waiting oh. on Bobby Lashley and MVP. Coming back in eight, seven, six. Tons of energy coming back out of commercial break. Yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. It is May Let's see that energy out yeah, there. New rock. day. New. Jeez, that's the freaking go home show. Oh, oh, folks, welcome back for I'm the one and the only. I'm the one they call Hobo Tom. And I'm only a little bit behind, which is a lot better. Why is my volume working? It was freaking working all day. Actually, I didn't even check my volume all day. Fudge. But that's okay. I'm here to. I can, I can always go do this the hard way, I guess. Yeah, I'm here to talk about some Monday Night Raw. And what a meh of a go-home show. I don't know. For some reason, I'm not excited about WrestleMania. I'm out for the most part all day Saturday. I should catch most of it, though. The latter half. Sunday, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be shorter. Honestly, you can never quite tell. The sound. What is my volume at? Oh, that's not too bad. That's better, I guess. That's about where I leave it. It should be fine. So, if it looks like I'm distracted, it's because I am. I'm trying to do some work while making my video. Because until YouTube monetizes me, this is considered a hobby and not work. Let's talk about some Monday Night Raw. Um, for the most part, it's recaps from SmackDown. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Cuts a promo. He gets wetted and loves it, though. He, He's at that level. Physically. I mean, he used to be, like, here. Physicality. Promo level. Physical dipped a little bit. But, man... That promo level come up. Bravo, Brock Lesnar. You you got me entertained. So he gets what he loves. It's like, yeah, feed me more. <laughs> to steal another wrestler's line, feed him some more what's. Um, so after that promo, is The Miz versus Rey Mysterio. Dom jumps to Miz. The ref says, you can't do that. I can't DQ you because... Technically, the match never started, but I can kick you up from ringside, though. Uh, Ray, for the most part, he just counted the power bomb, the slingshot power bomb into the roll-up, and I'm like, huh? That's it? And there was a series of 619s to everyone. That was weird. I'm sorry, Ray. Can a suit match? Is that the one I want to think? Oh, no, not during this one. I think. Yeah. A little later show. Um, then we have the Seth promo. That ugly suit in Mr. McMahon's office just should, should have come tossed. Then we have the Viking Raiders versus Omos. Omos, Omos just no sells. Like the whole thing. Uh, he just has some clubbing blows. He wins by a count-out victory. Like, whoa. We haven't seen a, a true count-out in a while. This was a terrible match. They're burying the Viking Raiders. You know, it's one thing to have Jabberuni 1 and, and, and Jabber, Jabber Dos show up and lose to Omos. Like they did with Braun Strowman. Like, yeah. Where they would have, like, skinny... 110 jobber one and 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 fat skinny 150 pound jobber number two get wrecked by Braun Strowman. This is different. This is the Viking Raiders. At one time they were tag team champions. 
Oh, how they've fallen. <sighs> Can a suit match? And then the next thing is that Bobby Lashley comes out. I finally got one right. And then he, of course, confronts Omos. So they're going to have a match come this WrestleMania. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow, uh, Thursday evening, sometime. I might make the one video tonight or tomorrow. I, have to, I might wind up making three videos today. Who knows? But yeah, um, Thursday evening, though. Book it. Why am I having for dinner Thursday? I have to think about that. I could do that. You know, I could do that. Oh, I have to. I have to think about stuff. It's never good making this brain work a little too hard there. But yeah. Um. Thursday, I'm definitely gonna do my predictions. I might include stand and deliver. It's going to be both nights WrestleMania, and I might have a guest on. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, then we had uh, Reggie and Dana. Reginald, let me warn you. Wrestling engagements never go as planned. You definitely don't want a, a wedding, a wrestling wedding. And then Tamina and Tazawa. Tazawa tried to propose to Tamina. To me, it's like, pff, whatever. Now I also know... Why they never had Tazawa cut a promo. Uh, and then there was a Roman Reigns promo. And then there was what I missed last Monday was the cat fight between Car or the cat fight between Carmella and Zelina Vega. Ooh yeah. But that's gonna lead us to our next match. Where it's a women's eight some. Or an eight woman tag team match. With the faces <laughs> Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, Naomi, uh, Naomi, Sasha Banks taking on Zelina, Queen Zelina Vega, Carmella, Shayna Baszler, and Italian Nightheart. This was actually not as bad. I have to temper this. It wasn't as bad as the past matches. I'm not saying it's terrific, though. For the most part, the heels beat up Naomi in the corner. And ouch! That one knee that Sasha. Sasha Banks hate from Zelina Vega. That looked vicious. Um, Carmella eventually gets in with the chops. And the kicks a little bit. Shayna. Oh, it's so nice to see a little tribute to Biggie. And the stretch. Muffler. That was good. Oh, yeah, no. Carmella just goes chin lock mania. Yeah, she's a little tired from all the sex she's been having with Corey Graves. I do want to see that live sex celebration. Again, part two, eventually. Uh, then they, uh, Shayna and uh, Baszler hit the heart, heart line, the heart attack. That's classic heart foundation move. Um, the heels fight amongst themselves for the pin. And while they're fighting amongst themselves, Rhea Ripley comes in, riptides. I forget who now. I, it's just like, so much stuff going on. Liv Morgan got involved a little bit. Sasha Banks got in, I don't think... I think Liv barely got involved. She got, like, knocked out of the ring. Live life, I guess. Yeah, for the most part, uh, Rhea Ripley won by Riptide. The faces, Liv, Rhea, Naomi, and Sasha Banks won. It was a better match. It was a ham sandwich of a match. Then we had um, a little Stone Cold recap there. That was good to see. This was your life, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Done the right way. Now this is your life, Bailey. Again, probably the absolutely worst segment ever on WWE. Uh, Kevin Owens comes out. Talks a little bit. They had a lot of promos on the show. And the matches were super short. They really don't deserve it. Because uh, then we had Ricochet versus Austin Theory. This could have been a marquee match. Maybe not main event level, but definitely there. 
the upper upper mid card, if not lower upper card part. Uh, Ricochet again. He does the rolling drop. He is so good. The slingshot clothesline, the standing moonsault. How he does the standing moonsault and like starts at his knees and then kind of he knows he's gonna drift over. That's amazing. Uh, Austin hits the ropes for the woo. Well, he crushes Ricochet because Ricochet was gonna go up. Austin crushes him because he bangs off the ropes. Austin hits. Austin Theory has, hits the ATL, and it's selfie time. Austin Theory wins. Not much of a match. This has really been a lousy. Besides what happens to Becky Lynch's hair, and she just needed a haircut. This has been a lousy go home show. This was all another ham sandwich of a match. Why are they not showing me what a four looks like? <sighs> um, then we had a Bianca Belair entering promo. Becky comes in, says, I'm going to cut that hair off, jumps her. But no, Becky, you bring the scissors. Guess what's going to happen? This is the rule of tables. You bring in the table, you go through the table. Becky Lynch, you, you bring in snip snips. Yeah, I guess you can call them snip snips. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's politically incorrect or what. Who knows? But yeah, you're going to get your haircut. Honestly, Becky Lynch probably just needed a haircut and said, hey, can you start this for me? And that was it. Um, the match has got a little bit better. So next we had Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin and Mad Cat Moss. A two-on-one handicap match. Uh, Drew throws Moss into Corbin. Like, no, bring out Corbin. Now Corbin is like, I don't want any of this. I'm seeing you wrestle me. You know, Corbin's wrestled a lot of WrestleMania matches now that I think about it. He's, he's been in a couple of them. He's always in the Andre Battle Royal if he's not featured. Oh, I have to figure out who's... Are they going to have that this year too? I honestly don't know. Hmm. They might not have the roster size for it. Because they're having two nights of it. Wow, they... Really could do that. Cesaro's gone. Yeah, WWE's really cut its roster. Yeah, he's like, eh, I'll see you. WrestleMania, uh, Mad Cat and Moss, for the most, he gets headbutt and then Claymore. Then Corbin jumps through and says, yeah, so he knows he's winning that match. Um, Drew McIntyre wins. Hand sandwich match. Then it was a Edge promo followed up by an AJ Styles promo. That's going to be a great match. That's going. That's why. That that match will justify why Ric Flair says AJ Styles is one of the best wrestlers out there. We have um Eric Boogenhausen. Boogen. Oh, but they have Danhausen. Oh, nice, now I see why he changed it. Yeah, they could have Eric Boogs. Plays the music for Shinsuke Nakamura as they come out because they're one of the four, three participants in the tag team triple threat match. We'll see what happens. And we have a little preview of that though the Usos versus RK Bro. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. They understand. Um, yeah. Uh, Jimmy, he gets table dropped. They start brawling on the outside. Jimmy gets dropped on the table. Randy Orton's so good. At least he changes up. It's not... It's not... <sighs> Randy Orton does use the same moves, but they're not the five moves of Doom, and you don't know they're coming. Shoulder tackle, shoulder tackle. Back body drop. You can't see me. Triple uh, attitude adjustment. Five moves of doom, and and you know he would call you like shoulder tackle. It's like hey, shoulder tackle, shoulder tackle, back body. 
you can't see this. AA. I, I mean, you can hear it, like, throughout the arena. It's, it's horrible. And when that mic and that ring is mic'd up. Jesus. But, yeah, um... And the Usos, they, they start, they're still such a coherent tag team. Being twins helps, I'm sure. Uh, Matt Riddle then gets beat up in the heel corner. Uh, he gets thrown over the timekeeper area. I don't know, AEW has the best use of the timekeeper girl, though. Why do I think the timekeeper girl at one time was engaged to Sammy Guevara? And Sammy Guevara got Brazilianized. And then said, Phew. That's it. Brazilian women are evil. They're just evil. They break men. They use them, chew them out, spit them out. Worse than my cat does her feathery cat toys. That's how women use men in Brazil. Like a cat uses a feathery cat toy. I'll also write that down. Uh, the Usos, the backdrop, neck breaker. That looked great though. This was the main event, and Elisa looked and felt like a main event match, too. Uh, Randy Orton gets the hot tag, again, big power slam. The Usos get the blind tag. By, by, uh, blind tag. Uh, there was no draping DDT. They counted that. Eventually, Randy Orton starts just delivering RKO's to everyone. RK Bros win. Now uh, the Street Profits then run in. Oh no, it was a DQ, but they win, they win anyway with a death to finish, baby. Nobody wins. Actually, someone wins. The uh, Street Profits jump RK Bro. Um, <laughs> Warrior presses the Uso onto the rope. And then it's just a series of RKOs for everyone. Um, This was the best match, and this is a death deal. She's bugging a match. And boy, this show was a hot piling of dusty cheeseburgers. This was not, and I repeat, not a very good go-home show. This has to be a four. It's about time. But yeah, um, so that was the go-home for WrestleMania, the Monday Night Raw, opening WrestleMania week, this does not give me warm, fuzzy feelings. I'll be honest. The only thing I actually feel like watching this whole WrestleMania week would honestly be Scott Steiner. I just want to hear what Scott Steiner has to say. Whatever he says is probably going to be absolutely ridiculous. Right, you bunch of white trash, white trash men in trailer trailer park whores, um, because because they're all one dirty bitch, and and these two are knuckleheads, and of course he always has a hundred and forty three and two thirds percent chance of winning, I think, or is it a hundred and thirty three and a third percent chance? I forget. But yeah, Steiner math has to be involved in that speech. And he just has to be Scott Steiner. Only thing I'm looking forward to this this uh, rest, this WrestleMania is that. Uh, as far as the rest of the week goes, eventually I'm going to put up my NXT re my NXT recap. That'll probably go up a little bit later tonight. Oh, uh, AEW review will be done tonight. Probably while I'm eating pizza or right, right after I eat pizza, right before I go to sleep. I have an interview tomorrow, and I close Thursday and Friday. No wrestling Thursday nor Friday. Saturday. Don't expect much from me. Because I'm off to Jacksonville. I'm finally going to go there to see a friend that I've been saying I visit. I think since December. But work and life just has said no. Until now. Until now. Sunday, probably working. That's the last week. Last week I work at my job. And then, because the 13th, I start my other job. I got a few days. Tranquilo. Um, I actually work, like what I'm doing right now. 
I can't show you that because that's confidential. If I showed you, I'd have to kill you. See, this is all just one big run on sun. I don't even see a period there. It's a two. Tell me it's all. I knew that. Yeah. No, that's okay. I don't need you up anymore. Summary. I did absolutely lousy. Actually. That's adjacent to everything, so that's good. Yeah, so that's... Monday Night Raw, and a little bit of what's going on next week, or this week. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And well, this will be going up soon. Bye!